Well, it has finally landed, so to speak. Seven years ago this month, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission blasted off to an asteroid named Bennu. Its mission to collect samples of the asteroid and return it to Earth. Well, after traveling nearly 3.9 billion miles, a very wow. long journey, OSIRIS-REx is about to deliver the precious cargo. Mm -hmm. And we don't know a lot about this. We're not the experts here. So we're going to yeah. bring in someone who can talk about this incredible accomplishment, Stephanie Getty, Goddard Solar System Exploration Director for NASA. Yeah, that has got to be uh, <laughs> the most official and important title we've ever had here on the CBS News stream. So first of all, congratulations on that. Um, so we just reported on the fact that this thing, Bennu, uh, might hit the Earth, right, in 2182. So, you know, no worries about that. We'll be long gone. I, I digress. But what can you tell us about what you are hoping to learn from the samples that might be returned from what you collected from said asteroid? Yes. Um, so, first of all, we have refined our estimates to be less than one tenth of one percent of impacting okay. Earth. In well, the we, next we, we, we do local news. We do local news. So, we got to still <laughs> throw a little fear out there, you know, right? All right. Um, okay. But Bennu is an example of a carbonace carbonaceous asteroid. And asteroids are just pieces of rock that are orbiting the sun in our solar system. Bennu is an example of a carbonaceous asteroid. Uh, it formed at the earliest stages of our solar system. So it's a time capsule containing a lot of the, the organic molecules and, um, and minerals that will inform us about what makes up our solar system and the, the materials from which our planets evolved over the last four and a half billion years. Oh, wow. Okay. I love when we get to get the broken down, simplified, easy to understand mm -hmm. version. Yeah, it's very so helpful you. here. Thank you. So Osiris Rex didn't just grab a sample. It also studied this asteroid in really unprecedented detail. Mm -hmm. Did anything surprise you about this? Yeah, so um, OSIRIS-REx launched back in 2016. It, it took its time getting to Bennu, and then it orbited Bennu for two years. So that gave the instruments on OSIRIS-REx a really good opportunity to study Bennu uh, from there. And we, we learned you know, things that we expected, like the minerals contain water, and then things that were surprising to us. We kind of expected a lot of um, you know large regions of sandy material that would be really easy to sample. Turns out Bennu is more rugged than that. Um, and so the surface is, is decorated with these, these boulders and rocks. Um, so a lot more rugged than we, we expected. Why this specific asteroid chosen for the mission? It's, is it proximity to Earth, et cetera? And, and, and is there proof from previous missions, uh, whenever it be, have findings in outer space ever led to to, to improvements, you know, on Earth, uh, you know, that, that we actually can, can, you know, empirically say this helps us day to day. Oh, well, there's a lot in that question. Let me take the first. Okay, part. well, <laughs> we don't have that long, so just give us one example would be great. Yeah. <laughs> so Bennu um, is uh, is the, the reason that we chose Bennu is for a combination of reasons. One is that it is accessible. Uh, it's close by Earth, rel relatively speaking. And so the mission uh, could get there and back um, in a reasonable amount of time. Um, the other uh, the other reason is because Bennu is carbon containing. We think that there is a lot of carbon um, mm -hmm. in the in the asteroid. And so this represents a class of um, asteroid that may have contributed to uh, impacts to early Earth may have seeded some of the mm. organic molecules that could have been available as life was taking root on our own planet. So that's very exciting. And I think that's very profound. Um, and I think study, you know, studies like that will inform uh, our understanding of how we got here and, and, uh, and how, why Earth is such a, a special planet. All right, well, we have less than 30 seconds left, but we really wanted quickly wanted to ask you, how hard is it to collect samples from such a fast moving target? Yeah. Yeah, so ben, um, Osiris Rex actually went into orbit around Bennu, which is hard for an object that's about as big as the Empire State Building is tall. Mm. Um, but those two years really helped the team to map out the surface and look for the regions that were the least wow. rubbly, <laughs> the, least, the least bouldery, and, um, and allow that, uh, that um, uh, sample acquisition maneuver to take place uh, while protecting the spacecraft. Oh, wow. um, so 
So really the ruggedness of the surface made it challenging, but the team was ready uh, and, and accomplished the task. I'm Remarkable glad they were. Stuff. All right, Remarkable. well, Stephanie, I said your last name wrong earlier. It's Stephanie Getty. Thank you mm -hmm. for being with us. I appreciate your time. We appreciate you from the Goddard Solar System Exploration Director for NASA. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks for your time and thanks for what you do for us. We appreciate it.